the sun's gone down. Now might be a good time to consider where we'll set down for the night. No objections here. Knocked. The roads are perilous at night. We best head back into town. I'll take the wheel from here. So be it. I only ask you keep the recklessness to a minimum. Time to go. All right. Another dimension. Wonder where we'll end up. Wow. Nice. This place is pretty big. I haven't enjoyed the city life in a while. They even got a cable car. I'd like to see where it leads. They've got cup noodles outside the city. All right. Might be worth investing in a few servings in the event our pantry runs bare. Well, put it on the list. <sighs> it's getting hot out here. Just need to pull in somewhere cool. Yeah. Any chance of sleeping in a nice room tonight? Yes, sir. Certain we can secure suitable accommodations nearby. To ride my chocobo all day. Uh, 
can't get it out of my head. Crisp baked bread fresh out of the oven. So, ready to get some bread in you? Oh, is there something you'd like to ask me? Here's our menu. Have a gander. Thank you. The women here are built. Hey there. Thank you. Later. Hey, brother, try one of these. Uh, uh, okay. Good, right? Yeah. It's... it's good. Then come again and tell all your friends. One hell of a crowd. Well, this must be the main thoroughfare. She's at the Laville. Let's go. Did you feel that? You mean the earthquake? Uh, what's wrong? My head just started throbbing. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Look at you guys holding your own out there. <laughs> what can I say? You look good. All things considered, you guys are staying here, right? That's the plan. When you have time, we have catching up to do. Sure.
Jared and Talcott. Is it good to see you? Quinn's not this. Iris is safe with me. <laughs> Please excuse my grandson. He has yet to learn his manners. I like it. Your Highness is very kind. But we shan't impose. A very good night to you, Your Highness. So, Iris, what was it like inside the Crown City? Not pretty. The Citadel took a beating. But a lot of outlying neighborhoods made it through in one piece. The Empire had tactical targets in mind. You know, if there's anything else, you can ask me. Yeah, uh, uh thanks. <clears throat> uh, what? So, about Lady Lunafreya. I keep hearing she was in town. <laughs> Apparently she left right away. But at least it means she's okay. Good to hear. Thanks. Yeah, well, get a good night's rest. Sleepyhead. Morning. Where is everyone? Oh, they're out walking with Talcott. They went to see the sights. We should too. Sure. Why not? Great. I'll show you around. It seems your patience was rewarded. Enjoy your walk and please take care. First stop, we'll check out the marketplace. Follow me, right this way. <sighs> it's even more beautiful out here at night. <sighs> This is the Partella Market. You can get almost anything here. Isn't it great? I'd buy out the whole place if I could. All these shops seem right up your alley. You know me so well. Neat stuff. I'm gonna take a look. Give me just a sec. Done. Next, we're gonna see the power plant.
That's the power plant, the driving force behind Lestalem's prosperity. But get this, only women work there. As a matter of fact, women are the ones who do all the work in this town. Sounds like your kind of place. I can see you doing well here. I think so too. It's so different from home. I was surprised at first, but I like it. All right. Next, we're going to the Outlook. City girl, but I dig the rustic charm. Huh. Tremors lately. Hope the rocks around here haven't been shaken loose. Imagine taking one for a spin. Oh, yeah. Almost feels like a date. If it were, your brother would kick my ass. <laughs> well, we better keep it quiet then. And besides, you already have Lady Luna Freya. The others are probably back at the hotel by now. Let's join them. are back. <laughs> Haven't had fun like this since we were kids. Thanks, Noct. No sweat. I had fun too. <laughs> you did? I'm so happy to hear that. Anyway, the thing I bought today, it's for you. It's a surprise, so you're gonna have to wait. Hey, look who's back! Talkit, go on and tell him what you told me. You got it! Oh, come now, show some respect. Whoa, no need to respect me. I'm not royalty. So, there's this legend about a sword and the sword's supposed to be behind a waterfall nearby. It may well be one of the lost tombs. 
check it out? Sure. Thanks for the tip, Talkid. You're welcome. Sounds dangerous. Will the four of you be all right? shakes your brain aches yeah a sort of seismic shock to the system curious burning up in here hey boys I have a job for rough and ready sorts like you and yours uh, okay if you're not busy, I'd like you to head over to my farm and bring back some produce. I was about to send a request to Hunter HQ when you showed up. <laughs> Thought I'd try my luck with you first. You can get the details at the farm. Thanks in advance. Me, but you're a hunter, right? Uh, yeah, something like that. You see, Gramps is seeking to secure new supply channels for merchandise. Uh, supply channels? Okay. To that end, we'd negotiated a deal with your fellow hunter, but he went silent on us. Maybe he got cold feet, maybe he's a cold corpse. If you meet him, could you ask him if the deal's still on? Uh, a lot of tremors lately. But the rocks around here haven't been shaken loose. Hey, brother. You're a hunter, right? And you drive all over the place? Yeah. What about it? Well, I have a little favor to ask. If you see a delivery van abandoned along the road, would you mind retrieving the cargo for me? The vehicle was attacked by monsters, you see, and the driver had to ditch it. Today. It's a jungle out there, both beasts and demons making a nuisance of themselves. Be careful, eh? Brushing up on your local knowledge?
Here in Lestalem, we like our weather hot and our food hotter. All right, we're counting on you. Certainly not your average, little boy. A little bit too much brass for that. That's how I imagined you used to be, Iggy. I wasn't, I assure you. Folk here are real friendly. Yeah, everybody greets you. Takes some getting used to. You draw more attention here than you do at home.
Ignis, pull over a sec. Certainly. This should be a nice change of pace. Always got each other's backs, right? You know it. I'm going all out. Just don't get too cute. Yeah! You're one to talk. By ear, then. Huh. Wow, the color's amazing. Out of sorts, not. You need to take better care of yourself. Now, ain't this a coincidence? <laughs> Us meeting up again. You here for the fishing? Because there's a fine prize skulking in these waters. What prize? The cherry comb trout. You need more than a good lure to take that wily beggar. Like what? Timing. He only bites at dawn and at dusk. If you want to catch him, you gotta play the waiting game. Wanna have a go? There's another prize in it for you. Sure, I'm in. <laughs> That's the spirit. You ain't afraid of a challenge. That attitude will take you far.
get a snap! Spool the line before it's too late. with camping? This place really grew on me. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. Everything in order? Yep. All right. to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha.
Man, that hurts. Another headache. This is not normal. Hey, hey, you want to watch where you're going? here. Yeah. Enemy on your left. Got it. Seems we found what we were looking for. The legend says to look behind the waterfall. What does the waterfall say? I think it says, come in. Wouldn't you know it, an entrance. Looks like the legend checks out. <laughs> this place gives me goosebumps. Double back for our coats? What's the point? Little Joe won't kill you. Well, looking on the bright side, Maybe the cold keeps the demons yeah, at bay? Because monsters like warm. Ah, sarcasm. Hmm. But what if they're frozen? Encased in ice, waiting for something warm to pass by. And then they just there's our warm welcome. See ya! Get back! Dark. Not good to throw daggers in the dark. Be nice to brighten things up in here. Nothing to it. Heading down a slippery slope? In Whoa. Down we go. Say your prayers. You think you love to dance? Let's get it over with. Mm. 
I really hope we didn't come here for nothing. I'm sure there's something if we look. Again. Really? Frosted, dude. Really? How's it look? Yeah. The Prince of Pain. Yeah, here we are. Watch out. What? Oh, sorry about that. What can I say?
your step. No more slip-ups. To death, and yet we're all very much alive. Perfectly safe. Working. I 
did not see that coming. Sorry, Spider Lady. Hmm, nothing turned up. Did you double check? Triple checked. Then we're done. Where to next? Dead end. Dan, you find anything? Nothing but ice. Cool. Try this! 
Gotcha! Look where you're going! Oh, sorry about that! All right, you hate bugs. Me? Yeah, can't stand them. Same here. Icky.
What is it? A hole in the ground. Something burning. The meteor? You saw the disk of Corthus. Let's make our way back to Lestalem. Yeah, gotta report to Talcott. something far more dangerous in. 
No dice, won't budge. For every lock, there exists a key. Or like a magical key that can unlock any door, like from the video games. Or that. That's better. Styles on your right. Thanks. Ready for this? It is about that time. Lights! What a relief. Indeed. They ought to keep the demons at bay. Ready to rumble, not? In King's Night? Oh yeah, I'm game. In that case, I'll join you. that well, one of the few pictures of us together 
Hey, isn't that... Isn't what what? Just my imagination. Perfect timing. <laughs> Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. So what's next? Ask around a little? It's up to Noct. Did you see that over there, Noct? What about it? Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's the Crown Prince. The city's most famous hunters, right? Yeah. <laughs> Got out while you could, huh? Bad stuff's going on down there. You need cash? Cause I need people. What do you say? The job's yours. If you're willing and able. That depends. What's the job? The easy kind. Just need a couple of photos is all. The Disc of Corthus. One from the south, one from the north. I suppose we can manage that. Yeah? That's great, kid. Music to my ears, let me tell you. Now, you're gonna need a camera, so what I suggest... We've already got one. <laughs> Came prepared, huh? Guess you're ready to roll. Come back as soon as you get the shots. I'll be right here waiting to see what you do. Another scorcher. Ought to pack our bags for Maybe we should have thought about this. Uh, how so? Something suspect. There must be a catch. Guess we'll find out. Been a lot of tremors lately. Hope the rocks around here haven't been shaken loose.
Prince Noctis! Welcome back. Your story came to a happy end. <laughs> well, well. We owe you, Talcott. You're welcome. Splendid. You've done well, my boy. Not unlike you and your father when you were little. Hmm. You think so? He'll be fine, don't worry. But we ought to take a closer look at this so-called disc. Then look no further than the Outlook. We can use the viewer things. No substitute for being on site, but it would be a start. Let's see what we can glean of Nox's condition. Are you sure you're okay? <sighs> It's your vacation. Why settle for anything less than the absolute best? I want to ride my chocobo all day. <sighs> Can't get it out of my head! This looks awesome. Dude! Oh, this is gonna be a party in my mouth. I dare say I can recreate this. Burning up in here. What a coincidence. I'm not so sure it is. Aren't nursery rhymes curious things? Like this one. From the deep, the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears, the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. We in? I don't know. We take a ride. But watch our backs. Fair enough. Let's do it. I'm not one to stand on ceremony, but such an occasion calls for an introduction. Please, call me odd. Come with me to the car park. That's where I left my automobile. She's a dear old thing. Pales next to your regalia, but she's never let me down. So, we take two vehicles, a convoy of sorts, shall we? said allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver I choose you what if I drive your car you might find the rental fees to be more than you bargained for <laughs> You drive your car, and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off.
Just to be clear, this isn't a race, it is a chase. You're not to pass me. Lose sight of me, and you'll lose your way. And no tailgating. An accident would spoil the trip. All right, all right. Let's hit the road already. As you wish. Drive safely now. First Galden and then Lestalem. What a coincidence, huh? Way too convenient to be a coincidence. I reckon he's following us around. But to what end? That question bothers me deeply, as does his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. I'd sooner not rely on him. But he may be our only way in to the Disk of Kothis. What's his highness's opinion of this, Arden? <sighs> Don't really have one. He's nothing more than a creepy old dude to me. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's why we came up with a plan. Gotta watch our backs the whole way. Knocked. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop if you need to, all right? So, any havens along the way? Oh, somebody wants to camp. Somebody else wants a proper bed. Nice firm ground's much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Under the stars, at one with nature, what's not to like? Now in the wild, there are no rules to follow. What say we call it a day here? What say we continue on to Carthus? The Archeum's not going anywhere? Neither are we under your stewardship. So we make camp with Arden. Hell no. <sighs> Might as well get the tent up. Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall foot the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. Now this feels like a road trip. Yeah, go figure. Well, well, if it isn't yours truly. Uh... So I am still young. My blood is true. As my mother before me, I'll work to bring peace to one and all. I hope she's okay, wherever she's headed. Please, set your heart at rest. I shall do what I can to ease your suffering. Lady. Freya. <sighs> Blessed stars of life and light. Deliver us from darkness blight. That is all I can do for now. But trust that relief will come in a matter of days. It's a miracle! Oh. Oh. Bless you. Thank you, Lady Lunafreya. Lady Luna Freya. I left at dawn to come see you. You must be exhausted. A, a fair bit, but more grateful than anything. Let us begin at once. We should have done more, like taken her in. Damn right. She could have bunked at my place. 
Or mine. I'm sure the missus would understand. Don't think being married will give you an excuse not to work out. Dak, good morning to you. <clears throat> I should warn you, we're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any second thoughts. thought of tapping into the meteor's power was a genius. Can you even go near that thing? They harvest fragments found nearby. Pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Almost fell, I should say. But the Archeon caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. Or any day, for that matter. His unceasing toil and the meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disguy. Makes you wonder what it's like, down there at his feet. So you know, it's hot where we're going. Will the camera fare all right? As long as I avoid open flames, it should be okay. I think. We don't have a spare if it breaks. Leave it in the car? Oh no, I'm taking it. Not every day you get up close and personal with the Archean. I kick myself if I miss the photo op. Spoken like a true photographer. As they say, better to try and fail than never to try at all. Look at you. Well, they say that. Not me. Well, you just do what you gotta. Hey, Iggy. Can your glasses take the heat? Well, I don't see why they shouldn't. Even if they couldn't, he'd still be alright. Yeah, Iggy's eyes ain't that bad. Oh, really? Yeah, my vision is possible without corrective lenses. Then why not take them off sometimes? Well, uh, you don't get it, huh? Ignis likes his world to be crystal clear. Indeed. I've never been one for ambiguity. Ah, I think I'm getting the picture now. Hey, Ignis. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively frightening. What are you saying? that I'm no stranger to His Highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now, thank you. I guess nothing can take your mind off Knox driving. We're here. Better not be a setup. Have I given you reason to doubt me? You don't really inspire confidence. Yeah, not very straightforward. Hello? It's me! Be so kind as to open up! Wow, that worked? I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience with Divinity lies ahead. You're leaving? I drop you at the Archean's open door, and with that, bid you farewell. that one again. Whoa, a little harsh there, don't you think? Guy really knew his stuff about nursery rhymes. Yeah, nothing creepy about that. We keep going this way. Then we'll find out what the Empire's up to.
These ruins. Is that what I think it is? Didn't expect to find a royal tomb here. Would be a shame not to grab that power, eh, Highness? Let's grab it and go. Thank heavens you're safe. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. You two. What? We're going where? Don't rush off on your own, huh? Don't get left behind. Wise guy. anymore um try shutting your beak just offering sound advice yeah like a parrot in my ear Yeah! <laughs> 
It's hot. It feels like I'm about to combust. Chill either. Make it quick. Just want this to be over. fast as I can. Talk? So do I. Glad the feeling's mutual. Let's move. Sick of your endless whining. Calm the hell down. Get off my back. Are you a man of royal blood, or aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. I couldn't forget it if I tried. What about it? I ain't saying that you've forgotten, but you gotta know something. You're not the only one who's having a tough time. We're all on edge. We Amicidia are the King's sworn shields. Guard the King with our lives. That's the way it's always been. I've embraced my duty. And I take pride in it. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, alright? Alright. Sorry, but I had to get it out. Come on. <sighs> and remember, don't rush ahead on your own. Hey, Gladio. Your dad, huh? I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm? But isn't that your phone? <sighs> Ignis. You're safe. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are here. But it sounds like we're about to have Imperial company. It's about to get even hotter in here. <sighs> oh, 
We finally made it. I know. I'm here! <laughs> what the hell is it you want? Quit screwing with my head! You gotta be kidding me.
Hey, are we all still here? Yep, still here. If a little battered. Does this mean it's over? Ah, what? What is it now? What is he doing? He's winding up! For the big one!
Jedi Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind this Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Queen regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archean who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we despair. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra! 